Hi, I'm Kyle. Have you ever wondered what the age of your deer you just harvested is? I think this video will help. Now I have been aging deer since 1992. I have aged hundreds for friends and at a local taxidermy shop. I also get the privilege to teach it to high school students enrolled in the forestry class each year. In a lot of cases, the hunter thinks he harvested an old buck. They will say that he has lots of gray on his face. He must be old, but that's genetic. And usually, it's a young deer. This method of aging works for doe also. In fact, that's where you'll find some old deer. My oldest jawbone from a doe is seven and a half years old. Now, if you're going to age your deer, you will need to cut back along the cheek to expose the molars. Don't do this to a deer that you're going to have mounted. In that case, ask a taxidermist to save the jaw for you. By the way, this buck is only two and a half years old, and this is his jaw. A fawn harvested in the fall or winter would be about six months old. They will normally have four teeth on each side of their jaw. These are the ones we use to age, not the incisors on the front. The first thing to always look at is the third tooth from the front. On a fawn and a one and a half year old deer, the first three teeth are called milk teeth. The third milk tooth is the important one. It will have three cusps or peaks. Later he will lose these first three and they will be replaced with premolars. Then his third tooth would only have two cusps. The fourth tooth is the first molar. This tooth is the only one that the deer has for life. A one and a half year old deer will have six teeth. He now grew the final two molars. But the last one is not fully in place because the gum line would have covered it. Remember the first thing to do is look at the third tooth on any deer you're going to age. If it has three cusps, like the fawn, then the milk teeth are still in place and he would only be one and a half years old. They will also be worn down. And this gives people the false impression that they have an old deer. When teeth wear down, under the enamel is a brown color called dentine. On a one and a half year old, the sixth tooth will not have any dentine showing, just enamel. Sometimes you will notice that the milk teeth can be loose or shed. That's because at about one year and seven months, all milk teeth, the first three, are shed and replaced with permanent premolars and they would not have any dentine on them and the third one has two cusps instead of three. This deer still has his milk teeth. Here is a lower jaw from a buck that is one and a half years old. On his right side he now grew in his premolars and the milk teeth are shed. But on the other side, his left side, he shed the first two milk teeth and there's the third milk tooth, not quite shed, with three cusps and you can see the premolar coming in underneath it. Even if he would have had all his premolars, we would have still aged him at one and a half because remember there's no dentine shown on the sixth tooth and it's not fully in place. A two and a half year old deer will have a longer jaw than the one and a half. In fact, the face will be done growing in length. A six and a half year old would be the same length as a two and a half. Now his head may get wider 
and his pedicles are the base of his antlers at the skull. will get larger in diameter, but his face is done growing in length. Now look at the first three teeth on this two and a half year old deer. You will notice the new premolars have replaced the milk teeth. Again, look at the third tooth. There's only two cusps. It's a two and a half year old or older. But how can you tell if it's only two and a half years old? Well, the fourth tooth, if you notice, his peaks are rounded down. But the fifth and sixth tooth still have large peaks. And the gum line will only expose the sixth tooth about halfway. On a three and a half year old deer, you will see that he has two cusps on his third tooth, which means he is two and a half or older. You will see that the last cusp on the last tooth, two thirds of the last cusp is showing above the gum line. And now the peaks on the fourth and the fifth are blunt, but the sixth tooth is sharp. On a two and a half, only his fourth tooth are blunt. And also, on a three and a half, has more dentine shown than the two and a half. Now it's easiest to age a fawn one and a half, two and a half, and three and a half. But four and a half and older is much more difficult to age and explain. For example, we'll tell someone, your deer is either five and a half or six and a half. You will, be, you will be mainly looking now at the wear and the amount of dentine and it sometimes becomes a judgment call. Now look at the difference between this two and a half year old and a five and a half year old. The peaks are worn way down, even the front of the tooth is worn down. And there's much more dentine exposed. Now. This is a five and a half year old jaw and a six and a half. Look how much more that the six and a half is wore down. I hope this will help you in aging your next white tailed deer.